And I'm glad that you mentioned the corporate ladder because my next question to you is about when you speak to corporate audiences. Now, when you do speak to corporate audiences, one of the things you talk about is creating a culture of heroes. Now, for someone who is starting from step one, how do you create a culture of heroes? But, you know, first of all, the, the culture is everybody's responsibility. Culture is one of those things that we talk about in the corporate world that it's, it's like trying to catch smoke. You know, everybody talks about it, but very few people actually understand it. It's really about creating an environment. In sports, we call it the locker room. At home, we call it the dinner table. It could be a classroom. In the corporate construct, we talk about what is this feeling? What is this vibe? What is this thing that we've plugged into? If it's an environment where I am empowered, it's an environment where I matter. If it's an environment where I am seen, you know, a, a lot of the leaders miss this. A lot of leaders feel like they have to have all the answers. A lot of leaders think they have to be the smartest person in the room. And the truth of the matter is the smartest person in the room is the person who brings the smartest people into the room and asks them really good questions. See, I don't think leaders have to have all the answers. Their, their people, their teammates have all the answers already, but they have to be empowered to share them with us. They ha have to know that their input matters, that we value them and that we see them. And when you start to build a culture like that, you're really building a culture of trust. You're building a culture of a safe space where people are free to, to win. People fail, people fall down, people are broken, people get back up. All of those things, because we are in this together, whether you view this as a team, whether you view it as a family, that's a matter of opinion. But the truth is we're all people, we're all humans, and we're all struggling in our lives. We're all searching for something more. We all want to get better. And if we can do that together, if we can create an environment that is safe, that is meaningful, that is worthwhile, that we're making a difference in the world and not just chasing the bottom line, but perhaps a through line. I think that's when people get excited about going to work every day with an organization committed to helping them become a better version of themselves, to serving people at a high level, to doing things that matter, to make life better. After all, that's all heroes do. They just make life better. They remove stress and they solve problems. And when people feel good about the work they do, when they feel good about themselves, when they're doing that work, I think that's the very foundation of a culture that drives organizational excellence and customer loyalty.